guys, what's up, what's up guys? This is D&D's Vapes and I'm gonna be doing a build for you guys today. I'm not sure, but I'm gonna do a couple clapping wires and this and that. So we're gonna get on with it and start doing this build, all right guys? So basically I'm gonna use 32 gauge, uh, 22 gauge, and we're gonna wrap them all up together. So first we're gonna start off with, uh, sorry, that's the wrong one, the 32 gauge. Right here. 32 gauge, can thaw. It's got gunk all over because I got kids, sorry. But we're gonna pull that out. And um, one second. All right, so I'm gonna get my 32 gauge. Sorry, I had to pause that there for a second. My son's home and he's sick. So, um, I'd say that's about enough right there. We're gonna snip that off. I'm doing something that I don't think anyone has ever done. Actually, I'm gonna try to do something that no one's ever done. All right, so what I'm looking for here, something strong and thin that I don't have. All right, so we're gonna take this, put this in a chuck, and we are gonna stick that in there. We're gonna spin this on. This is uh, 22 gauge. All right, guys. So you're gonna be working with something very hard to work with. And it is really hard to wind up because it's not as flexible, but it's doable. You just got to get used to it first. And right now I don't have enough room to really get my finger on there. Actually, where's my uh, needle nose? And it's easier for me to do it like this, I think. It's easier to hold it against the screwdriver so it doesn't overlap. It won't overlap each other because it's thick and it's hard for your fingers to actually do that. And you really don't want to use your fingers to do this. And I learned the hard way, but my fingers are all chopped up and cut up from doing uh, builds. And right now they're so sore that there's no way I could do a build. do a build uh, without being able to do this and so I have to have to have to have a be able to do it like this all right so let me see I should be able to fit a couple more wraps around that Urgh, there I think that's good all right, we're gonna take this off now. That's my 22 gauge. And she's on the tight, there it goes, come on. Come on, there we go. And I'm gonna stretch her out right now. As far as I can. I don't want to hit myself with it, so I'm going to twist this around the wrench so it doesn't give. And then on this end, I'm going to grab like a screwdriver. I'm going to give this a couple wraps. I didn't need this much, but it's just easier to work with when you got more. Give her a nice stretch out so she's almost straight. that out slide that off 
And then you're going to want to get your snips. What did I do with my snips? Huh. It disappeared on me. Lucky these needle nose got snips on them. Oh, I see them. They're over here. We're going to snip off the ends. Just like that. And then I'm going to grab this. Now I'm going to use the 22 gauge. That's got the curves on it and that's what I'm going to use to make our coil with a wrap, Clapton coil wrap. So what I'm going to do is, let's see here. And then I want to get this even as possible because this is actually going to go side by side. Like that. All right, so one, once you get your wire snipped, you're going to have four pieces all snipped up like this. You're going to take all four pieces. You're going to put them in the chuck of the drill. You want to take two, bend it over a little bit, two. And the way you're bending these, you want to keep them side by side and try to bend them side by side, which is a little hard to do, but you just if you hold it tight enough, you could do it. Well, I need my needle nose because this one's not bending right. I need more of that sharper bend. So when it goes in the chuck, it actually holds in there better. Alright, so we take these, we line it up with the center of the chuck. So make sure they stay side by side. One of them is not really sitting in there. All right. Ah, oh, shoot. I gotta fix that. All right. So I'm gonna snip off this end and redo it. Those two you want to bend evenly. So they go on the chuck evenly. Okay, so once you have her in, she should look something like this. Alright guys. This is going to be the tough part, is wrapping this around. Actually, I should do it by hand, but I'm just going to use the chuck, actually, to hold it in place while I do it by hand. It'd be the safest way to do this, because it will. it's going to be hard to do it on a chuck and spin it and keep it straight. So, New email. I'm going to start this off a little bit on the chuck.
right, so I had to take two out. And the reason why I did that is I forgot the RDA I'm using. I'm not going to be able to fit all that in there. So <laughs> I had to take them out. All right, so. Huh. All right, so we got to twist this in there now. Let's see if I can find a spot that this will grip into. What I'm going to do is I'm going to trim off the tip of this and hopefully she'll fit right there. Nope. Actually bent a little bit. I don't want to bend it. I want to get it stuck in there, jammed in there somewhere. Actually, let me just loosen her up. A little bit. And it should be enough to get it in there and then clamp it down like that keeping these lined up ah there we go that's what I'm talking about all right so this isn't gonna be like one of those closey closey wraps this is gonna be uh, kind of spaced out Too much space, sorry. All right, let's try that again. I mess up and I don't make enough that I can feel that she's short. But hopefully enough to make two coils. Alright, there we go. That's all she wrote, folks. That's the end of it right there. off just like that this ends all bent up too so you want to clip that end off like that and there you go guys just about done she's a looking nice it looks like bob wire almost you know what i mean it's the look i'm getting here or well, i'm trying to get so you want to cut that right in half They're not going to be very long. You're only get. That's okay. You could go back and fix it, I'm sure. You're smart like that, right? All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the coil kit. And I'm going to do wraps, but the way I'm going to do them is I'm not going to use the actual tool because of the way I got this wrap. I'm just going to use... Actually, no, I got my little screwdriver over here I can use. It's a small little Phillips head. And it's perfect for the size wrap I want. I just gotta find it because I dropped it. Okay, so I got this guy right here. I'm not exactly sure what thickness it is. I believe mm, two and a half. Mm-hmm. 2.5 millimeter. That's the size. So I'm gonna do about four wraps. Uh four or five wraps. Yeah, about four or five wraps. Should be good. You guys think? Four or five wraps. So we're gonna do four or five wraps. Alright, ready? 
gonna go boom. Oh, mm. I was wondering why I can't see. One, two, three. Four wraps, just like that. Now, grab the other one. What I do is I make sure that they're all going the same way. This way when you coil it, they actually wrap up side by side, nice and even. Now, I'm going to put her on my, my Dimitri, going to lock the trigger there, okay guys, I'm going to bring this down a little lower so you can see, hopefully you can see, I really do, so my Dimitri's right here. Now, when we put this on, one's going to go on that one, negative, and then we're going to skip the positive here, and we're going to go to this one. So we're going to go one and then two over here. We're going to space it. Just because the coils do have a, somewhat of a space between them, a gap. <clears throat> so we're going to work with that gap. This is one of the problems I have is getting my builds into the coils and half the time they don't fit just because I, I don't know how to build properly. I guess I go for these crazy builds and I realize that the holes are so small, you know. I need to get that RDA with the clamps on top so I can just clamp them down. This is ridiculous. I can't do any fun builds. So what I'm going to go with Alright, so Come on Ha ha Uh oh Come on, come on, come on. Get in there. Wow. It 
it's hard trying to get two coils in one hole, especially when they don't want to go in. That's where you grab your needle nose. Actually, that's perfect. Tighten this down. That's negative. I'm going to tighten it in the positive. Just like that. And then what we're going to do is, we're actually going to switch this over. I'm left-handed, and that's where my mistakes are when I do these builds. I have to push on the this way over when I should be pushing the other way so I don't loosen them back up. All right. Just like that. Just like do the day, dookie dookie dookie. All right, so that's how that coil is gonna look. Not done yet though. I gotta trim it up, and then I'm gonna wrap the other one. The other one I wrapped, I'm gonna throw her up in there. But the second one, I gotta make sure she's trimmed up right because it's gonna get close to the other coil, and I don't want it to touch, so I don't get a hard short. So what we do is, right? I trim, pre-trimmed it. This way I can actually fit that one in there without having to mess with the other coil and trying to get the space I need and all that stuff. So just take your time. Get that coil in there. Oh, she slipped out of this side. I can't see though, that's why. All right, got her in, got her in. All right, we're gonna grab. Tighten the negative, the negative, sorry, blow pop in my mouth. I'm going to tighten down that positive. Bada boom, bada boom. them up when we lift them up away from your airflow look at get this tighter Pulsar, wicker. Oh no. I see something I messed up on. My uh, positive lead is touching. The negative right across from him. All right. 
Everything looks good. And Pulsar. We're going to squeeze her. Okay. Then we're going to strum her. Make sure the screws are tight again. Pulse it again. And one of them is lighting up a little brighter than another. I think I know why. Definitely vaping good. I most likely got some really low ohms too. There's no ramp up time. At, well, there's a little ramp up time, but. Making sure my batteries ain't getting hot. They're cold. My buttons are my buttons getting hot. It's a cheap button. I'm trying to figure out why that one's getting hotter. I got the same amount of wraps. better uh, buttons getting hot all right so we are that's funny all right the magnets are strong all right so we're gonna cool her down and a good way of doing that is you want to pick the e-juice you use and Drip some juice on her. That'll cool it down, keeping your your wick from burning when you put it on. I'm gonna use some some uh, Japanese cotton, unbleached. Basically, what they do is they put it in a machine, wove it, weave it out, or whatever. And they get this. This is the inside part of the cotton. Um, there's two layers that are very firm. Not very firm, just a little firmer than this. And a lot of people peel it off. And that makes it a little easier. Ugh. There we go. Ooh, it's still hot. I can feel it. There we go. There we go. What you want to do is grab your scissors. I'm going to trim it right about there. Trim it right about there. You want to fluff, fluff out your ends. And what I do is, if they're tight like that together, first I kind of peel it apart. And then you want to grab a coil. Or a piece of a uh, wire or something if you got it like this and just kind of brush it out loose it up a little bit that'll loosen it up some 
try to loosen it up a little bit. And the juice will just travel through that a little bit easier. Help it get up to the top easier. Get that fluffy stuff out of there. See that? It's all nice and fluffy. And uh, if you want, you could take the screw, uh, the tool and just trim that fuzzy stuff off the ends again just so it looks a little neater so when you stuff it in the ends in the holes it doesn't get all over the place and the cotton goes in there really nice um, that tells me that it's loose it's not real tight in there and the cotton the juice will the juice will feed through a little bit easier you want to keep a nice open space under your coils you got your airflow right here And that airflow that you have there um, is going to help you. And let me see if I could do something real quick. All right. We got a little bit more light. So basically, that, that air hole right there, there's air holes just like on this side. Here, let me turn it this way there. You have air holes right here, and your air flows on the bottom right here, and goes up into your coils hitting the bottom. So you wanna leave that open on the bottom. That'll cool off that, and being that these are hot coils, this is actually gonna be good that I have all this airflow. So, one thing I wanna check too is make sure all this fits, because every time I do a build on here, never nothing ever fits nothing I want to make sure my airflow adjuster fits oh voila I'm happy I'm happy right now really happy right now everything fit nice all right so let me get some cotton on this side a little too much go like this Pull that through. Actually, I go like that. That works better. This stuff's already fluffy. I don't even really need to loosen it up a little bit or anything, but I'm going to. Make sure my baby is nice. I hope you guys enjoy this build and enjoy my coil that I did. Um, you will see better pictures of it on my um facebook as well as my instagram uh, if you have any questions on the bills if you couldn't see it as well i could explain it to you um it is a very good build a lot of flavor uh, it is a flavor build and it is a cloud build it's kind of one of those that'll be good for both because i do like cloud chasing and flavor chasing so that's why I make builds like this. So I get a little bit of the flavor. I get a little bit of the cloud. I get the best of both, really. So we're going to make sure that's nice and open. All right. And that's how she should look. Nice like that. Open airflow on each side for your bottom airflow. Then you want to grab your juice. juicer up nice and sometimes when you give it a little heat not much because you don't want to burn your cotton that'll actually soften up the juice and it just soaks right down really fast it helps you juice up your your wick a lot faster Oh yeah, she's holding some juice. And I love when my coils hold juice because you don't have to juice it as fast, as much. So let's get a little more on there. I think a little bit more hold. Yep. 
Alright. So I put her on my ohms checker and she won't fire on here. Low resistance. 0 0.07. Very low ohm very low build. Uh, you don't want to use this on a single 18650 mod at all. Uh, it's not safe on a single 18650. Uh, builds like this, you want to use at least on a dual 18650 and up. It'll put less strain, less amps. You're not forcing. You're not forcing the batteries to do something they can't handle. So if you do this on a something with more batteries, uh, the strain is less on the batteries, which makes it a little bit safer to use. Um, so make sure you guys, you don't use uh, 0 0.07, 0 0.08, 0 0.0 nothing on a single 18650 battery. It is not safe, dude. Your battery will overheat quick. You'll feel it getting hot. Um, on this build here, my batteries don't get hot, at least that I know of. So we're going to test that out. All right, so we're going to put this together. All right, everything's open. And take this off, this top off, unscrews to make sure the air adjuster has got the space it needs. Oh yeah, she's she's got space barely, but she's not touching anything. And she's a chucking. All right, so let's get back up here, guys, and let's do a cloud. Uh, just checking the batteries. I always keep my fingers on the batteries when I'm hitting it at the, when I first build it. Um, high drain batteries at 40 amps. Shouldn't have too much of a problem. Uh, three batteries, even better. She'll really won't have any problems. Feels a little like they're getting a little warm. Let me do one more vape and then take her up, take them out and test it. I don't want it to get them. I don't want them getting too hot. Um, yeah, not good. All right, so we just dripped. Ooh, boy, that's hot. Batteries are warm, but they're not hot. They're just getting a little warm. Boy, that's a hot build. I should have did like one more wrap. One more wrap would have been good. That's a pretty build though, pretty build. And I'm trying to cool her off. I'm trying. This is nicotine free. I don't smoke nicotine around my kids. Peace out, guys. D&D's vapes. God bless. Enjoy the video. Like, subscribe. And don't forget, guys, I'm doing a 100 subscriber giveaway. So do not forget to hit that subscribe button. And I will get that prize out to you guys. So thank you once again. Like, subscribe. 
and I'm happy to do this for you guys. I enjoy doing this, and this is one of my passions, is building coils, vaping, helping people quit smoking cigarettes if you smoke. So please, if you have any questions, ask me, let me know. And if you're a, a, a company that would like me to share something with the people and do a review or a build or a juice uh, review, please, Email me at danieltomasini at ymail.com. I will post that as well underneath. Guys, I, I'm, I'm new to the internet and I'm growing slowly, but surely I will get there. And with a little bit of help from everybody, I could grow a little faster and faster. And my goal is to actually help people and not get on that high horse once everyone starts uh, sending me stuff. And it's not about that. And I think some reviewers actually forgot that. And, and forgot the meaning of, of reviewing and helping people. Now it's like some of them are on high horses and, you know, they don't even, like, talk to you like they used to. It's just completely different. So, I don't know. But my goal is to keep helping people and not worry about getting on a high horse. I'm even on disability. I use my own money to purchase these things and some things I get for free. And you know what? I, I, I don't really even get to keep some of the things I get for free. I actually uh, bring it back because there's stuff from a, a friend that I know, and he, you know, he helps me out. So, um, yeah, basically, if you're a company and you want me to review stuff, and I'll be very honest, I won't hold anything back, and I will not hold any products back like some people I know do. Uh, that's one thing I don't agree on is these people are giving you hundreds of dollars worth of free mods, to review and then you actually sit there and choose and some people sit there and choose what they want to review after they were just given the product for free now I don't think that's cool and I don't think that's fair I think that if a company gives you a product to review and they say you can have it for free after you're done and you sit there and say well I think it's garbage I'm not gonna review this that's not cool man you know the fact that they even gave it to you to help people quit smoking for you to review it and then you're like nah someone else might like it just because you don't like it someone else might like it so you should still review it that's all so peace out god bless and if you guys have anything for me to review ymail.com daniel tomasini d-a-n-i-e-l-t-o-m-a-s-i-n-i at y letter y mail.com peace out everybody vape